y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That, ladies and gentlemen, was my sorry attempt to make you memorize this formula. Subliminal messaging. So this is a slope formula. It goes by the difference of y over the difference of x. Find the slope of a line that contains the points 2, 5, and negative 3, 1. In the slope formula, there's little numbers that go there. Those are not exponents. A lot of people get confused of what those are, and I'll show you what they are. In a set of coordinates, the first number is always an x value. We'll just label that with an x. The second number is always with a y. Same thing with my second point. It doesn't matter which point you start out with. The little ones just tell you that these are my first point and these are my second. Those are not squared, once again. It's just so you can tell the difference between each point. Every time I start the slope formula, I always just draw a line with two bars and a bunch of parentheses. Now to calculate the slope formula, just plug it in. Plug in all the values. Y2, we labeled it. That's why it helps to label. And from here on out, all you have to do is plug in each point. X2 is negative 3, and X1 is 2. And calculate the numerator. 1 minus 5, that's negative 4, over negative 3 minus 2, that's just negative 5. So my slope with those two points is 4 over 5 or 0 0.8. In order to use the slope formula, remember you need two points. The question for this one is to find the slope of the graph. I'm pretty sure that you can figure this one out even though I didn't give you a set of coordinates. Please pause the video and try out the problem. When you are done, unpause the video and you'll see the answers. Here is the answer for the question. The slope of that line is 7 fourths or 1.75. Once again, if I were you, I would start the problem by labeling everything. First, label your coordinates. Then I always like to put the x, y's x, y. The ones mean it's my first point. The twos means that it's my second point. It doesn't matter which point you consider as your first and second. You could have flip-flopped these as long as you use the formula correctly. Once you have everything labeled, all you have to do is make like glade and plug them in. Substitute y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In conclusion, as long as you have two points, you can always use that slope formula. Hopefully I was of help to you, and please subscribe to Math and Man 20 for more math lessons.